I didn't think anything could be worse than ECCC. I guess I was wrong. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I'm back with another Funko Pop video. Now, first thing I gotta do is say, welcome back to all my returning viewers slash subscribers. It really means a lot that y'all keep coming back to the content that I put out, and that y'all keep supporting the boy, liking the videos, commenting, and interacting with me. It really means a lot to me, and I gotta say thank y'all. Secondly, if you're a new viewer to the channel, welcome to the channel, I do Funko Pop content like hauls, reviews, and we just talk about pops like we're about to do on this video. So, if you like content like that, and anime content, and Dragon Ball Z content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And since you're already down there, go ahead and hit that like button too. If you do it, you'll make my day. Thirdly, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections. The link will be in the description below. And I have a Discord for collectors and nerds all alike called Sacred Discord of the Kai. So if you wanna join something like that, just interact with fellow collectors and nerds like yourself, go ahead and hit that, go ahead and join. The link is in the description below and it's free. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. So WonderCon, a con I've never heard about happening April 10th. It's supposed to be in Anaheim, which I believe is in California. Like I said, never heard of the con, but it's coming out and it's having exclusive Funko Pops. So y'all already know what I'm about to do with this video. I'm about to show y'all my opinions on the con exclusives that are coming out. And I'm gonna kind of give y'all some details that I found out. Uh, I got most of this from Papa Clock on tw on Twitter. So I'll probably put his link uh, in the description below so y'all could go follow him on Twitter if y'all want. Like I said before, this con is our April 10th, which I don't know how that's exactly happening with all this coronavirus madness, how we might be getting isolated. I mean, well, I mean, a lot of people are already isolating themselves, already quarantining themselves, but I don't know how this con is gonna happen. It's most likely gonna happen online, so it's gonna go to all your uh, favorite retailers like Hot Topic, FYE, Box Lunch, and all that, so just stay tuned. I'll put out more information as I uh, find it out. Like I'll put it on my Instagram and I'll put it on uh, the community post on my YouTube page. So let's go ahead and talk about the exclusives. Who asked for this? Now I don't know much about Trolls, but I know Trolls is a very nostalgic thing for a lot of people. Uh, they look just like the old Trolls toys that uh, came out when I was younger. Not collecting it because if this is part of a movie, I'm not watching it. If this is part of a TV show, I'm not watching it. And it just doesn't fit my collection. Like, it's not It's not for me. It's not for me. If you like trolls, that's cool. That's cool. I'm not going to knock you for that, but I'm not getting this. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, now I'm not going to lie. This one surprised me. Captain Adam. He actually looks pretty dope. He's going to be exclusive to Amazon, which is going to be pretty easy for you to get as long as you just, like, stay updated on Amazon. Just follow certain pages that uh, post links. You can even follow my Discord because sometimes we post the links on uh uh, things that are coming out as well so if you want to be updated on that you can join the, my discord which the link for that will be in the description below but besides that captain adam he looks cool he's from dc i know that and his powers are pretty cool but i don't collect dc so this is not for me also but he looks pretty dope i'm not gonna lie he's he looks pretty dope so dc fans y'all are eating but y'all are already starving so i guess y'all got a crumb now we finally got the two cops that I'm gonna get, like the only cops I'm, like literally, these are gonna be the only cops that I'm getting. And it's the Pokemon Flock Pichu and the Flock Eevee. Now finally, finally, Funko is flocking Eevee. This is a Pokemon that we need flock, a Pokemon with fur. You hear that Funko? Only flock Pokemon with fur. Now, obviously, these two are going to be automatic cops because y'all already know, if y'all are returning viewer subscriber, y'all already know I keep collections complete in this channel. And I can't let y'all down. So I gotta keep the co uh, Pokemon collection complete, even though it's like 90% complete right now. But I gotta get them too, cause if I don't get them, then I'm gonna be further away from completion. And a flocked Eevee actually makes sense. So I will be definitely supporting this one. Eevee should be uh, exclusive to Hot Topic and Pichu should be an exclusive to FYE. So remember, a lot of these con exclusives, they're gonna be $15 as soon as you get in the door and that's before tax. Now we only got three more con exclusives, which is very surprising, but I mean, honestly, who's really asking for these con exclusives? Now, Star Wars fans, y'all are kind of eating with this Boba Fett. It's a burgundy, maroon looking color Boba Fett. It's gonna be exclusive to Target, obviously. $15, like I said before. I mean, if you like Boba Fett, if you like Star Wars, you're most likely going to get this. I'm not going to get this. I used to collect Star Wars, but it became too much. Like, it has its own line. I'm not collecting Star Wars. It's just way too much. 
But the Boba Fett looks dope. The coloring is dope. It kind of looks like one of the future future pops. I think it probably is a future pop. I just don't know too much about it. But it does have that weird coloration thing about it. The last two we got is Miguel from Coco and Cheshire the Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Now this Cheshire the Cat, the mold on this one is super dope. It's like in the little teacup. Uh, I never, I, well, I've seen Alice in Wonderland one. I played the stage on Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. I'm not really a big fan of Disney content like that. Like my favorite movie is Aladdin, so don't kill me. I love The Incredibles, but Cheshire the Cat really ain't doing it for me. And I also haven't seen Coco. Um, I heard it's a pretty good movie. No knock on it because I haven't seen it, so I can't give you my opinion on it, but I heard it's a pretty good movie. Um, I don't know anything about it, so therefore I will not get this Miguel Pop, but I know this Miguel Pop is exclusive to Box Lunch. So if you guys are gonna get this, if you guys are Coco fan or Disney fans or Alice in Wonderland fan, y'all probably gonna get these pops. All right, guys, so tell me what you guys think about these releases right here. I'm only gonna get the Pokemon ones because those are the only ones that actually satisfy me i guess a lot of these pops were very lackluster not that many exclusives coming out which is good because that helps the boys save money stack up the bread for all the signatures and all the other pops that are coming out this year but tell me what you guys are gonna cop i know a lot of people aren't really waiting for this con and well frankly i don't blame you but like i said thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this type of content and don't forget to hit that like button if you already have it so i'd like to say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace